Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel RF Design Basics. In this video, we will see how to plot root locus and their different steps. So first I am taking this example where we have given with a unity feedback control system. Unity feedback in the sense H of S is equal to 1. G of S is given as K by S into S plus 4 that means this is for the open loop transfer function. We have to draw or plot root locus. So first of all we will see for this open loop transfer function how many open loop transfer function roots are there. So as there is in numerator there is no S and in, in denominator we have s equal to 0 and s equal to minus 4. So there are two roots which is poles. So these are 0 and minus 4 and the number of poles is 2 because 1 and 2. Number of zeros there is no such zeros for which this entire function will be 0. So number of zeros are 0. So these are two very important data to identify where will be the root locus. Now on the real axis we will be seeing these two points. So here we have s equal to 0 for example then the here will be s equal to minus 4. So we need to see in the right hand side of each zone. So this can be divided in three zone, this zone, this one and left side of this. When I am looking in this zone, I do not have any root in the right hand side. So there will not be any locus, root locus in this region. When I come to this zone, if I take any random point over here, I have one pole in the right hand side. So if there will be odd number of poles plus zeros together, then there will be locus available. So we have locus available between this because if I take this point, there is one root in the right side. If I take this point, one root in the right side. That means the number of root is odd. One is an odd number. When I come to this region, I have 1 and 2, two roots in the right side. If I look at this region, there are two roots in the right hand side. That means there will not be any root locus available in this region. So my root locus will be only available between these two regions. That means between 0 to minus 4. So we have got some data, roots and where will be the root locus available. Also, since there is no zeros, so all the root locus, all the branches will start at 0 or minus 4, but it will end only at infinity. Suppose you have some zeros also, then some of the branches will start from poles and in that zeros. So these are poles, it will start from these poles and go to infinity. But if there are some zeros available in your question, in that case, some of the branch will in that zero. Then the second step comes for the calculation of breakaway points. For breakaway points, we have to write the characteristic equation and we know that characteristic equation is given by 1 plus g of s into h of s equal to 0. As h of s equal to 1 for unity feedback, we can write the characteristic equation as 1 plus g of s equal to 0 and g of s is given as k by s into s plus 4. So if I add in this plus 1 and make it 0, we get this equation as the characteristic equation. Then we can write what is k and k will be equal to minus of s square plus 4 s. So this means dk by ds minus of 2s plus 4 equal to 0, so s equal to minus 2. 
so this point is called breakaway points now let us just analyze where will be the breakaway points the routes will be available between these two it will start from 0 and also 4 and in between somewhere it is going to break away from each other and it move in any direction that direction we are going to find next in which direction it is going to move it may move in any direction so this point is break away point which we have just now calculated so exactly at the middle it is going to meet and it will break away from each other now step 3 will be finding the angle of asymptote angle of asymptote we find by using this formula this formula is 2k plus 1 into 180 degree divided by number of poles minus number of zeros we have already calculated number of poles is 2 number of zeros 0 so the difference of uh, p minus z is 2 this k is small k which will be any number 0 1 2 3 and so on so here first we will put k equal to 0 when we put 0 we will get 90 degree when we put k equal to 1 we get 270 degree which is also equal to minus 90 degree but if you put further k suppose you are putting k equal to 2 again you will be getting 90 degree only it will be 90 plus 360 so basically it represents the same angle that is 450 degree which represents same angle you keep on adding you will be getting only these two angles again and again so there will be only two asymptote in this so this asymptote we will learn how to draw the asymptote the next next step is to find out the asymptote intersection at real axis where this asymptote will intersect the real axis that we are going to find out using a very simple formula addition of all the poles minus addition of all the zeros that is summation of poles is 0 is one pole minus 4 is another pole so that is summation is minus 4 there is no 0 so 0 divided by difference of number of poles and 0 that is 2 so minus 2 that means the asymptote will be drawn from the minus 2 it will be intersecting the real axis at minus 2 Now we are going to draw with these informations. So first of all, let us draw the horizontal real axis and then vertical imaginary axis. This is our real and imaginary axis. And then we can as I am not using graph, I can just put it as minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and so on. So, our locus will start from 0 and minus 4. So, it will start from minus 4 and it will break away from this point. Now the asymptote we are going to draw will be at 90 degree and minus 90 degree. So 90 degree is easy to draw, we don't have to use protector, 90 degree is just the vertical line. So this is going to be asymptote. This is asymptote which is intersecting at minus 2 and beside that we can draw the vertical line so minus 2 was also breakaway point minus 2 is also point for the asymptote that means it will say that one of the branch is not available at that angle that means if I start moving from here then one has to go up and one has to go down so it will be like this 
one branch is going up and one branch will be going down. So this is our root locus for very small example. What we can notice is there is no possibility of having root in this region. This is the right hand side of the S plane. There is no way any root will be there in the right hand side for this question. That means it is unconditionally stable for all the values of k. So here k was 0, k was 0, it has started from k equal to 0 and from here it has started moving upward and downward and it's reaching k equal to infinity and this is k equal to infinity. So we have drawn the root locus. In next video I will take uh, another example with three poles and we will see how the angle of asymptote changes and how we draw the root locus for that. Thank you.